today we talk about uh, ESG, sustainability, impact, and more that we as leaders as well as individuals are required to bring as our businesses as well as in our personal lives as well. We talk about ESG today under Asia Dialogues, which is an initiative to bring these thoughts and uh, initiatives forward to you. First instance, I think what might be really helpful is just to explore a little bit about what we mean by ESG and what it means to us in our different uh, organizations. And Healthcare need, needs to be sustainable. We are caring for people in generations to come. Of course, the building will last generations, but the concept will. And, um, you know, one proposal I have, and uh, that's something we discuss at Torasis, is uh, to find, uh, to define a new system for measurement, which is accepted by everybody uh, across all geographies. Uh, and that's maybe, you know, one important uh, project to work on. And if I can just give you a few statistics, I mean, you know, $270 trillion uh, is the opportunity by 2030 to invest in man-made climate change. We should raise that point. It is man-made. It's not just happening. It's man-made. And the $44 trillion opportunity is investing in biodiversity protection and restoring biodiversity. In 2010, well before it was mandatory for companies in India to do something like that, because it really comes from an internal view that um, we are responsible for what we are doing and we have to make sure that the ecosystem in which we operate is going to be there for us to operate in in the future. Actually, sustainability can also be profitable for yourself. One other stuff is that I love to work with the local community and I'm very proud. I've been working with, with Esther on and many of the local communities here, but also with um, Touch community, people with a handicap, they've been drawing many, many hydrangea uh, artwork and So at TCS, uh, we've done some very interesting thing. I just wanted to give you a quick snapshot. I always believe that you should not just keep your kitchen clean. You should worry about the whole ecosystem. But we decided first to keep our kitchen clean. Um, so we decided that we will uh, be carbon neutral. And uh, I put up saying that nature has become want to be carbon neutral by 2025. Taking care of the planet, which is very important. Um, you have to maintain business case for your you know, operation, but not at the expense of the planet and the people. Then the second bottom line is about people, which I love it most because you can't do it alone. You have to bring people together. And last but not least, it's about prosperity, not just about profits or business. Because so The idea is to keep the standard high, but then have the ability and the depth of understanding in sustainability to apply those standards in a manner that is in line with ground realities in your jurisdiction, particularly in Asia. So this Asia is where 60% of the humanity is. It's where more than half of greenhouse gas emissions come. 80% of ocean plastic comes from Asia. Uh, you have 17 of the 35 biodiversity hotspots that are in Asia. So if SDGs have to be realized, they have to be done in Asia and climate change battle has to be won or lost in Asia. So, so, we, so Pink Ball just want to address this element. We're going to harness technologies such as robots, IOTs, 3-5Gs and, and, and data analytics. But I, we believe by Five years from now, we'll be able to save at least 250,000 tons of carbon emission from this increasingly, ever-increasing sector.